Here at the friendly confines, Wrigley Field. Saturday baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves and the Chicago Cubs. With Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Ronald Acuna Jr., always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, but again, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. And this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch coming at you right after the break. What's up, guys? All right, I'll grow back, Healy. All right, just about six to go. <laughs> Be all right, man. Pitcher, Nigel Mitchell. And Singy, we were talking ah. earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of, you know, This is going to be a tough one, man. Versus the Braves, this is probably the best team we've played so far. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. All right, they're swinging at that changeup. Good game. He always seemed to play better in road games. That misses the zone, and it's two and two. And delivers outside. Payoff pitch. Swings and misses. Got him. Up in the zone for the strikeout. <laughs> On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Next to hit, Orlando Arcia. There's a strike. Gotcha. God, it's been on a whole week. Two away here in the top of the first. That is third. The right field number 13. Two outs, base is empty. And here is Ronald Acuna Jr. You see the velocity 97 with that fastball. Two outs, base is empty. Up and in, one and one. Two down now. That one to first, Bush. All right, one, two, three, man. Let's go. Good inning. Score after a half inning. New inning getting started, and now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. Olson, a former All Star, batting in the cleanup spot. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Mitchell back to work. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Oh, free swinger. All game, if guys will chase it, that's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Diaz drifts towards it, balls it in, and there's one away. 
Austin Riley. Here's Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. That's in there. Strike one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Some heat there at 90 Let's go. miles an hour. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. We got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count. Just a poor at bat. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the DH, Marcelo Zuna. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Second inning here, no score. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Next offering upstairs. Good purpose pitch right there. Trying to tease him, get him to raise his sights, pop something up, and make it an easy out. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Down in order, go the Braves. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning. Now in for the Braves, Sean Murphy. Mitchell back to work. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Count one and oh. Plays at one now. And he takes a strike. And that one hammered way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Thought that was a no doubter. Like the wind was holding that in this ballpark. Here's Jerry Kelman. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0 and 2. One out, base is empty. That's off the mark, and it's 1 and 2. It's a good take. That misses. Two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. A healthy cut. Tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. The Cubs leading by a run here in the second game of the series. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday, another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Now it's DJ Stewart. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. This one in the air. And that'll do it. 
Nine straight retired here to start the game. It's the Cubs one and the Braves nothing. Back here at Wrigley Field. Now it's the second baseman, Ozzie Albies. The pitch. Tried to check his swing there, appealed a third, and he held up. The 1 0. Foul ball there. You know, these Braves just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Slings the first, and Albies is retired. Yeah, I'm looking at his body language, and he just doesn't seem like things are in sync, and the ball's just not coming off his bat the way it did earlier in the regular season. Here's Orlando Arcia. He's 0 for 1. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. the ground and that chance handled and that quickly two away good fade and sinking action of that changeup got that hitter to roll over here's Acuna now grounded out his first time up this guy makes great contact one of the best in the game at putting bat on ball he's got such quick hands and he's gaining pitch recognition that keeps him square to the plate there's a good chance that his bat stays in the zone a long time and that produces solid contact consistently and downstairs right side corner to first and it's a one two three inning for the Braves and the Braves go down quietly. They trail here, 1 0. All set for the start of the inning. And here is Matt Olson. The right hander back to work. Swung on, popped up left side. Morell settles under it. And out number one on the grab. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Austin Riley. One home run shy of 200 for his career. Right through there for a strike. Riley goes six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. Here comes the 0-1. And that's in for a strike. Oh, this guy is so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. One down, base is empty. And that's down it away. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. The wind of the pitch. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. Down to go up the ladder for the K. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Ozuna in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that's outside. And that's ball one. And another ball. 
Two down, nobody on. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And there's a the ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Braves go down quickly here. They're down 1-0. Back here at the friendly confines, and here's the catcher, the catcher. Sean, Murphy. Sean Murphy. Mitchell back to work. Swing and he breaks his bat. Puts it away for the out. The left -handed. Jared Kellner. Jared Kellner. Next up for the Braves. Struck out swinging his first time. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Ball one, no strikes. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. Right through there for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. And another ball. One out. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate okay. right now. Oh, Just disconnected from field. head to toes DJ. in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. And first offering is fouled off. corner for a strike two down nobody on here in the second game of the series just misses now one and two really good take especially with two strikes Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two outs. That one missed. Good location, good take. Sometimes you want the hitter to prove he can lay off that pitch. Ozzy Albies, next to bat for the Braves. That's out to center field. Bellinger drifts towards it. And that is that. So he's perfect through six. It's the Cubs three and the Braves nothing. Top of inning number seven. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. The Braves in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. 
that's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches, and I mean make an educated guess. job to fight that one off. Righty delivers. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Well that was the cutter down and in right there and typically if you're going to have a chance with the pitch if it's down that's your best chance of doing anything with it. It's kind of like a mini slider just with a little less vertical movement but still that one tied him up and he couldn't get the barrel to it. Bounce to the right corner. Two up two down. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. On the ground to the left. And it gets through for a hit. Their first of the ball game. So the perfect game bid comes to an end. And now we'll see what he's got left in the tank and how to play it on the mound moving forward. But Singy, he's been a lot of fun to watch in this one. Yeah, Boog, really impressive from the very beginning. I mean, this guy was in total command the whole time, attacking hitters and Really, he's made him look pretty lost up to this point. Olsen, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Acuna, off of first with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Another frame in the books as the perfect game falls by the wayside. It's the Cubs three and the Braves nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. His next home run will be the 200th in his career. It would be pretty cool to see it right here. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. All game long, he's really done a great job of keeping these hitters guessing. You've got to play with that front foot. He's done exactly that, keeping them off balance. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Diaz makes the grab one away. That was a good, hard fastball with some nice ride yeah, yeah. up in the zone yeah, right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop-up and an easy out for the defense. Ozuna, batting with one down, takes a strike. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That one's carrying, and it's caught just in front of the wall. Man, he hammered that one to center. I thought it was out of here, but Wynn just absolutely killed it. Here's Sean Murphy. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And a foul ball. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Next one misses, and the count one and two. Boots it. Thank you, sir. And next one. 
backs for Atlanta. Jared Kellner. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. Right hander kicks deals. Here's a run scoring opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, got a lockdown closer ready to come in. The 1 1 is fouled off. Murphy, the runner at first with two gone. And now two and two. <laughs> Foul ball, he stays alive. The 2-2 two -two gets a check swing. Now it'll appeal to third. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Brave strand one, still down 3-0. Adbert Alzala. He's pitching on two days rest. Mitchell racked up 10 strikeouts over eight innings of shutout work. He was absolutely dealing in this one. Anytime he's going like this, they know they've got a good chance to win. Even if they came up a little short this time.